Hi, this is Sherry Veronica, and I got a note from Angela Cole, and this one is a tough one because I, I have to ad lib. I cannot write everything as she has written it, but this is what she wanted to write about me, and she wanted me to say. She said, this is Angela Cole speaking. She said, you came and you saw and you spoke the truth. Yes, I did. She said, with no platform, I spoke the truth, unlike those with huge audiences. Let's look at Gladstone Holder, for example. One of the best, if not the most renowned weekly columnist there in Barbados that you had. He is currently deceased. He and Angela had conversations and here is a conversation that Angela recounts having with Gladstone Holder. He said that Barbadians are the most, and I'm using a different word from what she used, untutored people in the world. Barbadians needed tutoring. Angela asked him, why do you not write? and say this, why do you not write and tell them? And Gladstone Holder replied, per Angela Cole, I lose everything I have? Angela re replied, so you set me up. He was a journalist who taught Angela Cole how to write without libel and he was a man who called Angela Cole every morning and talked of the times he wanted to drive through the opening at the cliffs in St. Lucie. She never spoke with him again after that. Then Angela Cole talks about the Dean of political science, George Bell, and he had asked her what Gladstone thought of Bajans. She replied, most, and I'm using a different word, untutored. He concurred and added, I look at them sometimes and I wonder what purpose are they serving? Then, Angela Cole talks about a Michael, quote-unquote, Rocky Walcott, accountant for the SAS, who said that over 67% of Barbadians had issues, and he blamed the British for causing the issues that Barbadians had. Now the question that Angela Cole wanted to ask me via this communication, written communication is, why are these people not speaking out like me? Why have they kept silent? Well, she kind of answered her question because she knows that they wanted to keep their jobs they wanted to be rewarded with promotions and, you know, titles behind their names. And they wanted to remain in the good graces of the political scene, the whatever scene that was there, that is there. They didn't want to be ostracized. So the question is, why is it that these people are not speaking out like me? why don't they speak out like I have? I'm not part really of this world. There's nothing that this world can do to me that can make me surrender to being or becoming something that I am not. There's nothing that I cannot walk away from. There's no one that I cannot walk away from. I've walked away from almost everything in my life and I'm like Job 
I always seem to get back on the right track. And whereas I may say, oh, I'm not going to buy this again. Or I'm not going to do that again. I seem to be able to do whatever I want to do. And I'm just in a state of gratitude. I must have done something good in my lifetime. I must have. And I pat myself. No one has to do it. I do it to myself. I pat myself on the shoulders because I know, I know that I have done good things to people. So I have nothing really to lose because even with me walking away from things, I always seem to end up in favorable situations. I have done many things good. This is Shay Veronica.